On this episode of Puglisi Speech Chat, we're going to address two things. Number one, the whole reason the F-100 came down here in the first place. And uh, number two, why I've been using this whole area just to store my motorcycle for the last month. Well, guys, welcome to the first episode of 2024. Hopefully, one of many great episodes to come. I guess you got to stick around and find out, right? So, uh, longer ago than I cared to admit, Scott brought his F-100 down here. It's a 54 F-100, and uh, the whole reason it came here was to get painted. That was it. It wasn't as close as we would have liked it to being paint ready, and uh, yeah, granted, she doesn't look like she's a whole lot closer, but I promise you, she is. All right. Uh, we got everything lined up, panel wise and stuff, uh, doors, all that stuff. We got the bed taken apart, uh, the wood taken out of it. And um, guys, we're about as ready as we can get. We're about to start sanding, and, and there's very, very little filler that's going to go on this thing. So a lot of sanding is going to happen the last next couple of days, and then we're going to shoot paint on it. You're probably wondering where you're going to do that. Well, I'm going to tell you, right there, right there. That is a Vevor, Vever, Vevor, I don't know. I'm putting the emphasis on the wrong syllable. Whatever it might be, it's an inflatable paint booth. Basically, it's a bounce house that's got like a hard floor in it, and uh, you can paint in it. That's, I guess, I don't know. We're going to open it up and find out. But before we can open it up, it brings us to our second point in this video, which is, why are we storing this motorcycle right here? Well, there's really no reason we're storing this motorcycle right here, except for it's, can you believe that's out of the way? I mean, we're working on the F-100, usually it's over there. So yeah, that is out of the way. And uh, I figured we'll leave it there because the second this opens up, guys, something's gonna go in there. Some vehicle's gonna come in there and it's just gonna ruin my whole plan. Uh, and I think that box is going to pretty much, well, the contents thereof, is going to take up this whole area. If the tape measure is right and we know how to read it. We're about to find out. Yeah, I don't need to start it, but I haven't started it in like a week, so. Good opportunity, you know, make sure it works. Now we block everything with this one. We have to solve questions. Can you see? Or is there a motorcycle in the way now? Now you can see the contents. One air blower. Ah, ah, ah. Two air blowers. Ah, ah, ah. So it's supposed to look like this when we're all done, guys. Guess we'll see. What 
Don't use outdoors on a rainy or blustery day. There you go. That's a good. That's good. Right. Right. Well, it is right now. Oh, we got here. Uh, I don't know. Put some stuff and some things and other stuff. Really light. Yeah, it's really light. I'm sure it's gonna have no problem going back in this bag too. Doesn't look like the right sizes are in there. Twenty one point thirteen fit out. So it's supposed to be twenty something. I wrote this down. I think it's 26 by 15 by 10. That sounds right. That is probably the last time I don't fit this bag. Just speed this up, right, dude? Play some music for the people. All right. That feels like I read something, didn't it? I recently swept, I promise. That's, that's probably a tech tip right there. the whole thing.
You know, it's 100%. Yes, I got it back. So yeah, it takes up some real estate, guys. And uh, I'm going to pause. I'll actually read the directions and uh, this stuff up. We're 11 minutes in right now. So I'm going to actually keep track of that. So this way, uh, well, you know how long it takes to set up. All right. So I actually read the directions this time. Last time I just pretended to. Uh, there, I mean, there's not a whole lot to it, guys, right? I was trying to figure out these are these are sandbags. So like if, I don't think we need them in here, but if you want to use it outside, maybe we need them in here. We'll find out. Uh, or you stake them, right? Stake it down the ground. Here's a bunch of rope for all that. So looking at the direction, here's a glare. I'll read it to you. All right. So uh, there's two blowers, and the bigger one is used for inflating. And the smaller one is used for uh, when you're starting to do spray work. So you got 950 watt and you got a 370 watt. Where I come from, 950 is bigger. So we're going to put that one. I'm assuming it goes to that, uh, that orange, a uh, little bit of ducting over there. We'll connect it over there. I think we just plug it in and watch it work. couple of difficulties getting this thing set up not too bad and yeah they were my fault ish but we'll talk about that in a minute so this is 26 foot by 15 foot by 10 foot and uh, yo Jay was trying to talk me into like the 29 or the 33 or I'm glad I didn't because we got a little bit of room which is what we want and uh, this was the only one that came in 15 foot too, uh, 15 foot wide, which I thought was better to have more room on the sides. But uh, let me walk you around here and we'll show you what's going on. This is the front, so I didn't screw that up because even though I thought for sure I would. This is the front, clearly you can see, you know, it goes up there and that's, so you can drive the vehicle in. It says, in the directions, like down here, so you can put something heavy inside to keep that down. Otherwise, I mean, there's not a lot to do that. So there's that. But uh, let's good light in the front. You got your uh, your access door here, right? And uh, not a lot of room over here. <laughs> but uh, not bad. You got filters, right, on both sides. A little bit of skylight action, letting light in over here. 
this window is a emergency escape, so you know, safety third. Good to go there. Then you got a filter here and a filter here, another access door. And I guess this is like your mixing room or whatever. Or, as you see, it's got a zipper that goes all the way around. So if you needed more room, you could unzip this, take, take this whole wall out of the way, and have all the way through there, you know, the paint. Uh, right here is, uh, that's your air. Then it lets air in. Actually, it forces air in with that other pump, which I don't have hooked up. And you guys can probably see what I did wrong in the first part, right? Yeah. That That's where that gets hooked into. Clearly, it shows it goes right to that. And, you know. But I couldn't see that one, and this fit. So I did that. And then the directions, and my, my defense didn't say. I probably should have watched the video. Can you believe I didn't do that? And then when you saw me messing with stuff afterwards, when it was kind of blowing up but not really this is can you see that so you can you know get it to deflate quicker those were both open there's one on each one of the center pillars which makes sense and uh let's sit here get to filters not too shabby guys i'm impressed it uh it picked up some real estate, guys, right? But uh, I think it's going to do everything we need it to do. Save us a whole bunch of time on a mess. We don't get no bugs in the paint. You know, any kind of foreign objects. My floor wouldn't be red if I had this when I painted my brother's car. I'm digging it. And it's got stuff here. Look, you can hang lights, guys. I mean, obviously, not super heavy ones, but uh, so far I'm impressed. Now, granted, I haven't used it yet, but I mean, it's just, it's gonna do exactly this when I use it, right? So as long as I uh, don't pass out and these filters work and that kind of thing, yeah, I'm good. I'll bring you another room over here and show you what I'm talking about. I think I kinda already did, but uh, that little vent right there, yeah. That's where I plugged in at first. So all that was doing was this room I'm standing in right now. It's a little mixing room or whatever. It's about five foot by 15 foot or whatever. It just forced air in there and it started just putting a bubble here. And it never got any further. Every now and then it'd move a little bit because some air would escape this way. But uh, it wasn't going to like these pillars, right? That was the problem. So. Basically, just force a whole bunch of air in this room for a long period of time for no reason at all. And, uh, just pulling on stuff, seeing how stuff works. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, it's so obviously the inside's not 26 by 15 by 10. It's, uh, I think it's 21 in here, 20? I think this room here is 20, and the other one's like four or five, something like that. So, I mean, because you got these pillars, right? That they take up some room. But, guys, this is bigger than, I mean, I'm not going to paint any bigger than this. And you can go outside, go inside. I'll probably use it in here 90% of the time. Um, I mean, really, no reason to put it outside and beat it up more. Uh, and I can kind of control the temperature and a little bit of the, uh, what's that word? Um, humidity with it being in the shop here rather than being outside. But uh, first look, guys, this isn't, uh, I don't know how it's going to work out yet, like I said, because we're not ready to paint yet. We're almost ready. But uh, hey, it's doing what I want to do. I ordered it. A week ago, if that, and there was a weekend in there, and Christmas, guys. So shipping was awesome. Um, I also, in that box over there, I got uh, a rack to hang up some stuff when we paint and everything, you know, some of the smaller stuff. I think, so all together, 
It's definitely cheap. There's no question. 700 bucks. And I think the rack was like 60 or 70 bucks. Um, I got a couple of little ones coming just because they were so cheap. I said, why not? I wanted to wait till I saw them. And I got a discount after I bought this. A little, little thing they do to keep you coming back. But uh, stick around, guys. This is just a quick, this is what we got going on. Told you we're doing big things for the new year, right? New year, new me, guys. Yeah. Oh, I hate that saying. But <laughs> uh, we're going to try and get some stuff done. Keep you guys informed. Keep you guys coming back for more. Thanks for watching. I'm going to bring you over here right quick, show you the directions, because uh, I don't want to say it's misleading, but um, there's not a whole lot here, guys. Uh, oh, by the way, look at this. These are sandbags. I was wondering what this is. This is uh, repair material. It's actually on the back here. Accessories, sandbags, some rope, stakes, and repair materials. Um, you see where it says uh, using a big plow or blower, uh, inflate booth, refer to picture above. So there's a picture above, right? Looks just like it. So that's legit. But uh, you know what? It's on there. Yeah, yeah, inflating booth, air cycle. If they, if they brought this back just a little more, you'd see it's orange and that's blue. So that, so it, did, it was on there, that's my mistake. So I'll own it guys, I'll own it. And then over here you got fixing the booth um, as far as, you know, putting it down, staking it or whatever. You see it says something heavy in the front or heavy thing heavy thing to keep the front down there which I mean we can fill one of the sandbags we can, you know, we'll figure something out not a big deal but uh, that's what's there and um, yeah so I guess it was a hundred percent my fault uh, I was gonna say the only downside I had so far was directions I guess it could have been a little bit better but I probably could have paid a little bit more attention and we would have been just fine all right, guys, my plan was to show you this last night, but uh, you guys know I use my phone for most of my recording, and that died. I didn't have a GoPro, like, it's at the house, so uh, I wasn't prepared. You know, not not very Boy Scoutish of me, I get it, but when I originally set this thing up, I did everything wrong. So I wanted to show you how fast it sets up and comes down when you don't do things wrong. So, uh, here you go. All right, so we got everything laid out. Basically, I just shut the blower off last night, and this is how it fell. So, haven't touched it since. We'll come over here. Now that we have the blower into the correct duct, it's plugged in. We will turn it on. We will turn it. There we go. It says two to three minutes, it should be up. We're at like eight seconds. This could do it. Now we're gonna be all right. I think she's caught on something yet. Yep. yep. The way it fell. So I got it really tight over here. So let's see what we can do over here. I'll put you down for a second. All right.
So I'm showing three minutes of record time, which uh, is nowhere near where we're actually at because I talked for at least 30 seconds and then I wrestled the thing and now I'm winded. But uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's a little tight. <laughs> but she's up less than three minutes, guys. It's amazing what happens we do most things right because uh yeah i'm winded it's a little heavy but uh less than three minutes she's ready to go and i still didn't do everything right nobody's surprised well let's shut her down and i'll show you how quick that happens Come right over here she's off now, mind you, if I open those things up, right in uh, that region there, on both sides, she'd drop a lot quicker. So, <sighs> lean over here, catch my breath. So, yeah, it kind of hits the door a little bit, and it kind of, it didn't, the bottom didn't kick out on the other side like how this one did. Might have been how it fell. Uh, might be, might, I think it actually hit the, the motorcycle lift, and I think it hit the front of one of the trucks a little bit. But, uh, not bad, we're at what, not even a minute of unplugged. So, I mean, ain't no difference than like the bounce house, you guys, come on, we've all been to the, you know, the local feast or carnival or fair or whatever you guys call it, wherever you're from. We see these things all the time. Rain out pretty good. You guys hear that? Huh? Over my uh, out of shape breathing. Hmm. I'd love to just like, shh, boom. but uh, it would hurt. I know it would. It looks like it wouldn't, but it would. Hey, in the middle of this recording, Jay might actually just walk in because he's on his way over. So we'll see. He might, we might get a surprise appearance, you know. Well, I guess it's not a surprise now because I told you. And if he doesn't show up, now you're going to be let down. What a tangled web we weave. Well, we're going to call that done because I'm really tired of just holding this thing. It's, it's, this is one step above watching paint dry. But... We're not even two minutes into where I pulled the plug, and uh, yeah, she's she's about down. It's just the, actually all the air is out of the stuff. It's just letting in the uh, well different air from <laughs> inside the compartment or whatever. That's what's going on. But yeah, you guys get the idea. Up and down, no problem at all. A couple minutes each way. Well, you don't do everything wrong. Well, there you go. She's fully deflated. It took like another minute or two after I quit recording and uh guys i gotta go because we got some work to do on this ford this way we can bring it into the booth and uh actually see how it all works stay tuned for that we're going to do a full review on how everything works on this thing so far well if i didn't screw it up we'd be 10 out of 10 so uh i guess we're 10 out of 10 and uh well till then like share subscribe <laughs> ring the bell Tell a friend, and uh, there's Jay telling me it's time to get to work. <laughs> we'll, uh, well, man, you're speeding this up for time lapse purposes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
Joe, what are you doing, girl? Where you go? Look over there. Go the other way. You gonna do some painting? I hope she's really trying to jump through it. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? All right, we'll talk to you.